Hi. So um, I'm going to do a practice for keeping it really gentle and really low to the ground, like not even standing up. And for this practice, if you have access to it in your house, grab a blanket and just a pillow from your bed to use. And also if you have a chair or a sofa or a stool nearby, just place that near your mat or place your mat near it um, so that we can use it. But I'll give you options if you don't have one, okay? Great, so let's get started. So come on to your mat. You'll probably see my little doggy here. Her name is CB. Come down onto your back. Knees bent, soles of your feet on the floor. Just lift your shoulders and wiggle them and drop them back down, release them down. Back of your head on the floor. Feel your feet just spread and connect to your mat. You can keep your socks on for this practice so you stay warm and cozy. Or do it in your PJs. And then just take your arms a little bit away from your body and feel a sense of settling. So the back of your body is gently releasing down into the floor, feeling the support of the floor beneath you just allowing yourself to settle. Let your eyes close. Drawing your attention in. Becoming quiet and still. Just noticing for a moment how you feel, just giving yourself a little bit of attention and care and allowing yourself to rest. The only movement is the movement of your breath. Your breath, natural, relaxed, soothing, just following your breath in noticing the quality of your breath and following it out. Following your breath in and following it out. And just staying with this, just your breath. Soft, gentle, nourishing, giving yourself some space and some time, feeling a sense of being very grounded, being rooted down, quieting your mind. When your mind begins to wander off and grab onto a thought. Just very gently draw your attention back to the movement of your breath. There's that beautiful Thich Nhat Hanh quote, Thich Nhat Hanh, the Zen master, breathing in. I know that I'm breathing in. Breathing out. I know that I'm breathing out. Breathing in, I know that I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I smile. Thoughts come and go like clouds in a breezy sky. And conscious breathing is my anchor. Stay with this, just a few more breaths. Just 
and just following my voice, so not even looking at the video. You can keep your eyes closed and follow my voice. Gently lengthen your legs along your mat. Reach your arms above your head onto the floor and extend through your body. Just stretch. Maybe wiggling a little bit as you stretch. Give your fingers a good wiggle. On your next inhale, stretch and begin to create some tension in your body. So make fists, squeeze your toes, squeeze your eyes, squeeze your lips, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And as you exhale, oh, let it go. So breathe in. Tense up, squeeze, 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 squeeze your buttocks. Oh, good, one more. Breathe in, tense up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh, release, beautiful. Bend your knees again. And draw your knees into your chest. Just give yourself a hug. So one hand on each knee or your shins or you can hook your hands. Your shoulder is dropping back into the floor. Your head is supported. And just hugging in five breaths. Gently stretching into your low back. A little massage into both sides of your abdomen. For these last two breaths, slowly roll your head from side to side, releasing around your neck. Perfect. And then take one hand to each kneecap. Your big toes are together. And circle your knees away from each other and then back in toward your chest. And keep this really slow. So you're moving into your hips. You're massaging over your low back. Just really slow so you can feel all of the sensation all the way around these little circles. Your breath is easy. And then circle a few times in the opposite direction. Press your knees away, draw them wide back in. Good, one more time. And then hug your knees back in and let them float from side to side. So just rolling across your back. Being really easy with it, maybe a little bit playful as you just roll over. Easy breath. Invite some big exhales, big releases. Good. And then pause. And take your hands down next to your hips and lengthen both legs up toward the ceiling. Keep your knees just a little bit soft. So you might feel the backs of your legs just gently opening up. And you can press through your feet, spread your toes. Feel your tailbone on the floor, your shoulders on the floor. Pausing for a moment with your feet above your heart and your head beneficial for your nervous system, for your circulation. And then begin to circle your feet, moving into your ankle joints. You might hear those little pops and cracks of release as you circle. Circle in the opposite direction. Good. And then pause and bend your right knee. Draw your right knee and take your hands around your right shin. Press through the sole of your left foot as you slowly lengthen your left leg along your mat. Just hugging your right knee up. Shoulders anchoring down. Pause and breathe. Wind relieving pose. Let your breath be expansive. Feel it up under your collarbones and down into your belly, all around your back. Bend your left knee, place the sole of your left foot on the floor 
and take both hands behind your right thigh and lengthen your right leg up. Press through the sole of your foot, just moving into the back line of your leg and using your hands here behind your thigh, just as a little bit of support to maybe draw your thigh in a little bit closer. Don't let your chin lift, so your chin keeps drawing down. And then release your left hand, place your left hand on the floor next to your hip. Bend your right knee and let your right knee come out a little bit wide, so out toward your ribs. And come into half happy baby pose. Reaching your right hand to the outer edge of your foot or just behind your thigh. And gently drawing your thigh down. Shoulders drop back. Breath moving. Give your jaw a little wiggle. Make sure it hasn't tensed up at all. Good. A couple more breaths. And then guide your right ankle to your left thigh, like you're sitting in a chair. So your right knee is coming out to the side and you're gently pressing through the sole of your right foot. And this might be enough sensation around your right hip, your outer hip. If you'd like more, you can begin to bring your legs in toward you. You don't need to use your hands, you can keep them on the floor. Make sure your chin hasn't lifted. If you'd like to go one step further, you can take your right hand between your legs, your left hand around the back, and begin to hug them in. Shoulders still anchoring down, and you might let your legs rock a little bit from side to side. Just enhancing that sensation, not only in your outer right hip, but around your low back, your sacrum. Hug it in. And then release your hands, release the sole of your foot down, release the sole of your right foot down, lengthen your legs, take your legs a little bit wider, your feet a little bit wider than your mat, and reach your arms out from your shoulders and come to star pose. So this really expansive pose on the floor. And just pause and breathe, noticing if you feel any difference, the right side of your body to the left. your breath, your anchor, your companion, not only through your practice, but in your life, always there, always available for you to connect to it. Perfect. Rebend your knees, soles of your feet come to the floor, draw your knees in, lengthen your legs up, bend your left knee, draw it in, hands around your left shin, Right leg slowly releases the length of your mat. Your right leg can land down onto the floor, pressing through the sole of your foot, wind relieving pose. Hugging your left knee in, and your hands can be around your shin, or they can be behind your thigh. Letting your shoulders drop back, back of your head to the floor, and just hug. Feeling, just noticing how your hip feels. Noticing sensation around your abdomen if your thigh is pressing into your abdomen. Nourishing your digestive system. Your breath is there. Good. And then bend your right knee, sole of your right foot to the floor. Hands move to the back of your left thigh. Begin to lengthen your leg up. Press through the sole of your foot. Spread your toes. Just moving along the back line of your left leg. You don't need to lock your knee out. It can be a little bit soft here. Left hip dropping down into the floor. Feeling very grounded. Sole of your right foot very grounded. You could also lengthen your right leg along your mat if you want a little bit more here. And then bend your left knee and come into half happy baby pose. So your right knee can be bent or you can extend if you want more of a stretch. 
Your knee comes wide, drawing your knee down toward your armpit. Your right arm rests on the floor. Just drawing down through the outer edge of your foot toward the back of your thigh as you breathe. Those big exhales out of your mouth are quite welcome in this low to the ground, gentle practice. And then if your right leg is long, bend your knee and guide your left ankle to your right thigh. Pause, reach through the sole of your left foot. So just moving slowly. You might want to rush into the next stage, but maybe use this as a practice to just slow down. You might begin to lift your legs in toward your tummy. Reclined pigeon pose. Feeling, noticing the sensation around your outer left hip. You could take your hands around the back of your right thigh or in front of your right shin. And hug it in, bring it in to thread the needle pose. Breathe, shoulders dropping back. Perfect. One more breath. Oh. Release your hands down next to your hips. Release the soles of both feet to the floor. Come back into semi-supine constructive rest pose for five breaths. Feel your back expand down. Expanding right across your upper chest, across your collarbones. Your attention is on your breath. So two more breaths. Bringing your feet in line with your hips, heels under knees, spread your toes into the floor. Heels release down, arches draw up, so engaging through your feet. Just begin to press your feet down so you feel your legs begin to engage. Back of your head stays on the floor and keep pressing into your feet and very slowly draw your hips up off of the floor. Your weight moves into your upper arms, upper back. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly release down. Like you're placing one vertebrae down at a time. Your hips come all the way down. So your next inhale, press into your feet, engage your legs. Slowly draw your hips up. It's the moving bridge pose. As you exhale, slowly draw down. We'll do two more like that. So inhale, pressing into your feet, draw your hips up. And as you exhale, slowly using your whole breath to release down, movement match to breath, one more. Inhale, press into your feet, engage your legs, your hips. Draw up, up, up. Exhale, releasing all the way down. Oh, beautiful. Reach your arms out from your shoulders in a T pose. Let your knees float in toward you and let both knees drop to the right, bringing yourself into a reclined twist. Expand right across chest and shoulders. Your legs feel heavy, so they're very grounded. And breathe. You might turn your gaze to the left, but you can keep your gaze up toward the ceiling. You can keep your eyes closed. Revolving your spine, nourishing your spine, making space. 
This also nourishes your digestive system. Good two more breaths. Gaze comes up first, knees float up through center, and then they float right over to the left. Let them land, let your shoulders ground. Find your breath, feeling the opening through the right side of your chest. You might turn your gaze away from your knees and breathe. Perfect. One more breath. And then roll all the way over onto your left side and curl up into a little ball. Press your right hand into the floor. Draw yourself up to a seat. Lengthen your legs out in front of you and give them just a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a bounce. Give your arms a little bit of a shake, your head a little shake. Just releasing tension, letting it go. <sighs> Good. Perfect. And then come into easy pose. Cross your legs or keep your legs out in front if that's more comfortable. You can always sit up onto your pillow if you want a little bit of lift under your sitting bones. Take your hands to your thighs, close your eyes. Shoulders drop away from your ears. Feeling your sitting bones as if there's roots growing from them, holding you here steady and grounded. And then very slowly begin to circle your nose. And just moving into your neck. Move slowly, don't drop your head back. Move slowly so that you can feel all of the sensation around the circles. And then circle the other way. It feels delicious actually. One more time around. Bring your head back through center. Blink your eyes open. As you breathe in, draw your shoulders way up to your ears. Hunch them up. And as you exhale, they slide back down. So inhale, they draw up. Exhale, back down. Good again. Draw them up. Back and down. This time, draw them up, forward and down. Up on your inhale, forward, down. Good, one more. Let your shoulders settle. And take your hands out in front. Spread your fingers wide. Give your fingers a little wiggle. And then take your thumbs to your palms and wrap your fingers around. Turn your palms down and circle your knuckles, just easing around your wrists. Good, go the other way. Perfect. And then interlace your fingers and circle your knuckles. Good. And then turn those interlaced fingers so the palms face out in front of you and reach. Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Expand across your upper back. And then draw your arms up, lengthening out of your waist, rooting through your sitting bones. Mm. Take your palms right to the base of your skull and draw your elbows back, lift your chin and lift your gaze. Take an inhale. As you exhale, your elbows draw in toward each other, chin to chest. Inhale, elbows slowly move back. 
Gaze lift, chin lifts. And exhale, elbows draw forward, chin to chest. Breathing in, opening up, moving through your upper spine and neck. Here's one more. Breathing in, draw back, lift. And as you exhale, chin to chest, elbows draw forward, pause here. Just adding a little bit of weight, but with your hands opening up through the back of your neck, dropping your shoulders away from your ears. Good. And then lift your head, reach your arms out, spread your fingers, expand. And take all 10 fingers to the floor behind you. Plug your fingerprints in, it's just stimulating fingerprints. And switch your leg. So take the opposite leg in front, just come to the other way. Might feel a little unusual, a little unnatural. Good, reach your arms again out from your shoulders. And then take your right hand to the floor, draw your left arm up and over, keeping length through your spine and both sides of your waist, just opening up all along the left side of your body. And then come up and over to the left. Really root through both sitting bones. Good, up, over to the right. And up and over to the left. Good. Come up again. Reach up. Take your hands behind you. This time, interlace your fingers behind you and reach your knuckles down. Shoulders draw back. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. Good, deep breath in. Sigh it out. One more. Oh, perfect, release your hands. Give your arms a little shake. Releasing tension. Mm, bring yourself over to all fours. Coming into tabletop. So your wrists are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips, spread your fingers, draw up through the palms of your hands, tops of your feet are on the floor. As you breathe in, draw up through your collarbones, opening up into cow. And as you exhale, rounding your spine, draw your belly button back, head drops down. Just moving, breathing in, opening up. And exhale, coming into cat. Open up on your inhale, draw into yourself on your exhale, just moving through your spine. Good, two more like that. So breathing in, opening up. And exhale, press the floor away and round. Good, one more. Come back into tabletop and just take the back of your right hand to the floor and give your fingers a wiggle, stretching into the back of your wrist. And then switch back of your left hand to the floor, give your fingers a wiggle. And place your hands back on the floor and begin to circle your hips. So just starting hip circles. Moving in a way that feels really organic, really natural to you. Close your eyes. And you can let these circles expand so they turn into these full body circles where your chest is passing over your wrists, your sitting bones passing over your heels. Big body circles, creating space, releasing tension. Your neck is a bit soft, relaxed. And then circle the opposite direction. Just let your whole body get involved. Good, a couple more times around. Perfect. 
and then take your big toes together, your knees wide, and bring yourself back into a wide knee child's pose. So your forehead can come to the floor, or you could stack your arms and place your forehead on the backs of your hands. Let your elbows come down if your arms are out in front of you. Just drawing down, connecting down, releasing your energy down. Opening up through your back, feeling your breath. Saying to yourself as you breathe, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Good, two more like that. Breathing in, breathing out. One more. Breathing in, feel your breath, fill your back. And exhale, just releasing. Come up, take a seat right onto your heels. Hmm. Arms reach out and up. Cactus arms, elbows come out. Fingers to shoulders big circles, just moving into your shoulders. Good, a few times in the opposite direction. Hmm. Moving like this, gentle, slow, close to the ground. It just feels so good. Reach your arms out again, bend your elbows. Expand right across your chest and then draw your arms in toward each other and take your right elbow under your left into eagle arms, Garuda arms. Expanding across your back, drop your shoulders away from your ears. And then lift your elbows and lift your gaze. Feel like there's a little string from your sternum opening up your chest. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, elbows to chest. Draw both arms to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Hmm. And then back through center, over to the left. Look over your right shoulder. Good, back through center. Reach your arms out. Bend your elbows, cactus arms. Arms draw in toward each other, left elbow hooks under right, eagle arms, lift your chest into your arms, drop your shoulders away from your ears. Big breath in, big breath out. Elbows lift, gaze lifts. Elbows come down, gaze comes forward, Take both elbows to the left, gaze over your right shoulder. It's pretty involved in your upper spine. Good, come back through center. Both elbows to the right, gaze over your left shoulder. Perfect. Come back through center. Arms reach out. Hands come down, just a few little circles of your shoulders. And then grab either your blanket or your pillow. I'm gonna do my pillow. And place it right across the center of your mat. And we're gonna come into supported sphinx pose. So we're gonna come into all fours over the blanket. Oh, over the blanket or the pillow. And then take your hips down onto it. So just adding a little bit of lift to your hips. Tops of your feet are on the floor. Press the floor with your hands. Just get this opening through the front of your body. Elbows are soft. And then making your way into Sphinx Pose. So bringing forearms to the floor. Your elbows are under your shoulders. And your hands gently pulling back at the front of your mat, opening through your chest, shoulders dropping away from your ears. Feeling heaviness through hips, thighs, knees, tops of your feet. Close your eyes. 
Feel your breath. Notice the sensation around your breath. So as you're stretching into your chest, into your upper abdomen and compressing around your low back, around your sacrum, around your sacroiliac joints. Breathe. We're gonna stay with this for a good 10 breaths. If you feel tension in your neck, you can gently drop your head forward. Just let your head be heavy. Breathing, expanding, making space. Exhaling, softening, releasing, grounding. And you can feel you're gently stimulating your arms, your shoulders into your chest. Good, five more breaths. I love doing Sphinx Pose or even um, High Cobra or Seal with this little bit of a lift under my hips, giving me a little bit of extra support. This is such a gorgeous pose. Good, last couple of breaths. To come out, we're going to take elbows wide on the mat, stack hands or forearms, and come into crocodile pose. Rest your forehead on the backs of your hands or your forearms, and just feel yourself releasing down into the floor, releasing the compression around your low back, around your sacrum. Shoulders gently round forward, release down. You might rock your hips a little bit from side to side just to foster that release around your low back and that sense of grounding, connecting down into the stability of the earth. The earth element connected to the base chakra, Muladhara. I am here. I am safe. I am grounded. I am connected. Perfect. A couple more breaths. <sighs> Lifting your head, bringing your hands by your chest, pressing into your hands, coming up to all fours, and then turning your pillow. And you might even fold your pillow to make it a little bit higher. And we're going to come down, take your knees wide, and we're going to come and hug our pillow in wide knee child's pose. So take one cheek to your pillow, wrap your hands around underneath it, just hug it. Oh. Feel your chest dropping down. Your sitting bones just releasing down towards your heels. Turning your cheek one way for five breaths and then turn your other cheek for the next five breaths. Pause. Go slow, go soft, go gently. We all need this right now. Just a chance to draw the attention in Get really quiet. Move in a way that feels like meditation. Keeping the mind focused. Connection to the breath, connection to the earth. Good, last couple of breaths. Oh, and then lifting up. 
taking a seat onto your mat. Keep your pillow close by, legs out in front, or if you don't have a pillow, if you have your blanket, grab your pillow. Take your legs out in front. Take your fingers just next to your hips, coming into Dandasana, staff pose. So extend through your legs and the soles of your feet and extend up through the top of your head. There's some engagement around the center of your body and like there's a string drawing you up, creating length in your spine. <sighs> Shoulders drop away from your ears. And we're gonna take our pillow and place it underneath knees and thighs. It's just creating a softness through the knees. We're gonna come into a forward fold and forward folds are really calming for the nervous system. And we're gonna take this really easy so we're not yanking ourselves into it and kind of fold your pillow up, make it a little bit higher. Take your feet as wide as your hips are a little bit wider and let them be soft. And then arms reach up, extend up and begin to draw yourself forward. So your hands are going to land either on your shins, on your feet, or onto the floor, and your head drops forward. So coming into a really soft, restorative, seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Your head drops forward, so it creates this lengthening in the back of your neck. Shoulders gently release away. You might feel a little bit of compression around your abdomen, gently massaging into your digestive system. Your sitting bones rooting down into the floor, creating that stable base. Heels are on the floor. And we're opening up through our backs. So stretching and opening through the back of the body creating space. As you breathe and your lungs fill, you can feel that expansion into your back. Just allowing your breath to move in a way that feels soft and easy, relaxing, connected. Embracing the beauty of these sweet, soft, slow practices, really connecting deeply into ourselves. Stay with this five more breaths. Oh. Last breath. And just walk your hands up your legs. Come back into Dandasana with the pillow under your knees. And begin to turn your chest to the right. Take your right hand behind you. Your left hand can come across to your outer right thigh and revolve your spine. So expand across your shoulders. Your gaze just softly moves back, your shoulders release down. And as you breathe in, there's a sense of extending through your spine, so down through the base of your spine and all the way up through the top of your head. And as you exhale, sigh it out. So breathe in, there's extension. And exhale, there's a softening into the twist. Good, two more breaths. Hmm. And then keep your upper body as it is, shoulders as they are, and take your gaze over your opposite shoulder. It always feels really nice in my neck. And then coming back around through center and just gently twisting the opposite way. Hand comes back, front hand comes across to your outer leg, expand right across your collarbones. Your inhale lengthens you. 
And your exhale softens you into this nourishing twist. Hmm. Beautiful. Three more breaths. Keeping your upper body where it is, take your gaze over your front shoulder. Oh, come back around. Perfect, bend your knees. Release your pillow, set it off to the sides and bring your legs around in front. And then let your legs come wide. Just let them come wide on your mat. You might pop your pillow or your folded blanket under your sitting bones to get a little bit of lift and release into your hip flexors. Press through the soles of your feet, tense your fingers next to your hips, so extending through your legs and extending through your spine. And take your right hand to your right knee or shin, left arm draws up, and gently draw the right side of your ribs down toward your thigh coming over your right leg, opening up through the upper side of your body. Let your elbow go a little soft, grounding through both sitting bones. Good, two more breaths. And then slowly come up. And we're going to come over left leg so left hand down to left leg, left side of your ribs coming toward your thigh. You're really grounding through your right leg, your right sitting bone. It's keeping length through the top of your head and just soften your top elbow a little bit. Just that softening of the elbow creates this opening through your upper ribs, under your arm. Good. Two more breaths. Mm. And then coming up, draw up. Take your pillow. Place it in front of you on the floor. And take your hands to it. And just tippy-toe your fingers forward. So your forearms might come down or it might be your hands. But wherever you are, let your head drop forward. It's opening up through your upper back. Once again, these forward folds, really calming for the nervous system. Soften your feet. Your breath, your companion, guiding you here. Not cranking yourself in, just letting gravity do the work. Gravity inviting you to fold forward. Inviting you down. Your exhale's inviting softness. Good, stay with this, just a few more breaths. You might wiggle your hands under your pillow and hug it. couple of breaths. Good. Lift your gaze. Walk your hands up. Bend your knees. Bring your feet to the floor. Take your hands behind you and just gently rock your knees from side to side. Just releasing around your hips and low back. Oh. And then come once more to a seat on your mat. Comfortable seat. So you might place your pillow or blanket underneath you. Shoulders drop away from your ears. Let your eyes close. 
draw your attention to your breath. And bring your right hand up to your face. Right thumb next to right nostril. Ring finger next to left nostril. And these two middle fingers can either rest right between your eyebrows or they can just curl in. I'm gonna practice Nadi Shodana, alternate nostril breathing. So breathing in and out through your nose. Take a breath in through both nostrils. Close off the left, exhale through the right. Inhaling right. Close off the right, exhale through the left nostril. Good, inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right, and exhale left. And just keep this pattern up at the pace of your breath. This is a balancing breath. It's meant to balance the two sides of your mind, the yin and the yang. nadis, the energy lines. Just a really calming, sweet, balancing breath. A couple more rounds. So the next time you exhale out of the left side, the moon side, the cool side, the yin side. Let that be the last one. Release your hand down. Pause with your eyes closed. Hmm. And we're gonna make our way into relaxation. So, suggestions. If you have a chair, a sofa, a stool, have your blanket close, you take your pillow for under your head, we're gonna come into instant Maui, which is the best restorative pose. If you don't have a chair or a blanket, place, or sorry, or a couch, place your pillow under your knees and come into Shavasana with a little bit of support under your knees and use your blanket over you for warmth. So if you have a chair, or a sofa, place your lower legs down, come down onto your back, letting your legs relax onto the seat of the chair or onto your sofa. Your arms can come out a little bit away from your body. Your head rests down on your pillow or on the floor, making sure you're warm. Making sure you're comfortable. Softening your body. So wherever you're at, whether your legs are lifted or down onto the floor with a pillow under your knees, soften all 10 toes. And soften the whole right side of your body. Your right hand, your thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger and little finger, and the palm of your hands, your right arm, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, the right side of your chest, the right side of your ribs, your right hip, your right leg, thigh, knee, lower leg, your right foot, the back of your right leg, the right side of your back, your whole right side, soft and relaxed. And then soften the left side of your body, let it drop down. 
left hand, thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, your left palm and arm, forearm, elbow, upper arm, left shoulder, left side of your chest, left side of your ribs, left hip, left leg, thigh, knee, lower leg, left foot, the back of your left leg, and the left side of your back, your neck, your scalp, your forehead, relax your temples, your right eyebrow, your left eyebrow, the space between your eyebrows, your right eye, your left eye, right cheek, left cheek, your jaw, upper lip, lower lip, throat, heart center, navel center, your whole body, soft, relaxed, resting, your whole body, soft. Stay here as long as you'd like. If you're ready to come out, come back to your breath. Notice how you feel. Just holding on to that feeling of being soft, gentle. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your feet. Maybe gently roll your head from side to side. Just feeling into your body, moving in a way that feels good. So you might stretch, you might draw your knees in, give yourself a hug.
just waking up, coming back. And then, as you're ready, rolling over to one side, curling up into a little ball in a fetal pose. It's giving yourself a couple of breaths to transition. And then coming up to a seat. Let your eyes stay closed. You might bring your hands to your heart, just connecting with your heart center, sharing compassion out to every living being. May we all live in peace. May we all be without suffering. May we all be happy. Namaste. Thank you.